one of the most valuable pieces of technology that can dramatically improve the success of your workouts is also easily one of the most underutilized. Here's the kicker. It's been around forever. You guys want to guess what it is? It's a piece of tech and it's been around forever? For, it's been around for a long time. Long time meaning like 50 plus years, not like It's been hundreds. a long time. Is this a trick question or it's, a real like, got, machine? Okay, no, it's, it's real. Uh, the mirror. No, nah, it's not really tech. The clock. Well, I mean, it depends on how far. It could be considered tech hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Everything's tech. <laughs> yeah. The wheel. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, Fire. No, I'm serious. Are, are, we, are we going 50 plus years, 100 plus years? No, no, no. no. How? How about uh, just let's go okay. in our careers. Right. It was used before that, but on our careers. Uh, okay. So, okay. That's not Here, that. I'll give you a clue. You guys have figured out. We trainers used them all the time when we were trainers. You always had one of these on you when you train clients. Clipboard. No. Uh, stopwatch. Thank you. Yeah. Stopwatch. Ah. So, you know, here's here's what's interesting. And, and I'm that. telling you, try this out. And I did it this morning while I was working out. So I've been trying to be consistent with rest periods, whether it's 30 seconds, a minute, three minutes. Uh -huh. And I'm also trying to stay present in my workout because I have a tendency to want to go on my phone, uh, you know, either text or read or do stuff like that. And I notice when I'm present in the workout, I have much better workouts. And I also notice when I can pay attention to the to the rest periods, I either a if it's a long rest period, sometimes I'll rest too short. So if I if I know I'm doing a strength cycle, I'm doing three minutes. Sometimes I'll probably rest two minutes or a minute and a half because I feel like I'm ready. Or especially if I'm doing a thirty second rest, I think I rested thirty seconds. It was more like a minute or a minute and a half. So I brought my stopwatch today and I said, I'm going to do 30 second rests in between sets. I'm going light. I'm trying to go for a pump. And that stopwatch of hit it, watch the time, 30 seconds, do my set, hit it, watch the time. Mm. I'm so present in the workout and my sets are consistently 30 seconds apart. And I can see the value of this for people who have trouble resting enough time. Like we've all had those clients where... It's like, no, we're going to rest two minutes in between sets. And they're like, what do I do in between? Do I do jumping jacks? Do I? <clears throat> it's like, no, no, you got to rest. Let your... Sounds like it's good for people with ADD. It's good for... Uh, like and a lot me. of people have this, ADD. This, yeah. used to be, um, this used to be my favorite hack when I would get a client who was um, had been training for an extended period of time, right? So years of experience already, and they're hiring me because they, they were in a plateau. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is to just assess... Uh, we, we talk a lot about this and we just talked recently on a show about how people identify um, with like a, a, a type of, you know, modality, right? Yeah. So you're the, are you the circuit training person? Are you the CrossFit person? Are you the, you know, power lifter, the bodybuilder? And typically when you identify with that, that type of a person, the way you lift, you also tend to keep the rest periods like that all the time. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and then my favorite thing to do to show them quick was quick results would be to take them on the opposite extreme. So if I got the, you know, soccer mom who loves all the circuit classes and there's like no rest periods, it's like nonstop lifting, like the body pump type of classes, the orange theories. I love to take her through a powerlifting cycle where I'm making her rest for three minutes. Yeah. And how hard is it for her? So hard. Yeah. If you didn't have a stopwatch, if she didn't have a stopwatch, yeah. would she even rest three minutes? No, no. And then you also have to you, you have to teach them how to like lift heavier because they're so used to lifting sure. light light weight all the time. And then the, the opposite is true, right? I get somebody who is a power lifter and just loves to lift super heavy, but then now wants to change body composition, wants to get leaner, and you know has been training consistently for a long time. Again, assess their 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 training. Oh, look, they rest three minutes plus all the time. Put them on a thirty second rest period and be consistent with it and watch how their body changes. It's one Easy of, hack. It's one of the best uh, factors within programming that you can change. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. That changes the whole workout. Why? Well, uh, let me break it down. Number one, obviously changing rest periods changes how your body adapts, uh, changes the focus of the exercise, changes the feel. You know, you either get more strength stamina or you get more just grinding strength. You get a better pump, whatever, whatever right? But besides that, shortening or lengthening rest periods also changes how you do the exercise and the amount of weight that you use. Oh, yeah. Like today, I was doing 30-second rests. And to give you guys some examples, so I go do incline barbell press, which if I'm doing my my heavy work sets, I'm going anywhere between, I don't know, around 225 is probably what I'm going to stick to, low reps, right? Like five reps, something like that. Today, I'm like, I'm going to do 30-second rests in between. 135 is what I had to work with because mm -hmm. with that 30 second, after I did like once I got to the fourth or fifth set, like 30 seconds was a good rest period and I was getting good, uh, you know, my reps weren't super high mm -hmm. at that particular point, right? So the shortening of the rest periods forced me 
to go lighter, forced me to feel the muscle, forced me to focus on the pump. The long rest periods is the opposite. All of a sudden, with the, like those clients that you're talking about, Adam, the ones that just are so used to circuits, so used to hit training, when I'd have them rest longer, they couldn't. They, was, they had to readjust the weight yeah. because it had to use more. I weight. mean, I'd, I'd say that that's the biggest challenge of this tip. And I think why so many people don't do it is because it it also messes with their 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 weight. Yeah, like what they choose to put on the bar, right? And what it, okay, if I and we're, again we're just we're picking on a specific avatar, but there's plenty of people that fit in these categories. So you know the soccer mom, mm-hmm. one of the greatest challenges aside from getting her to rest longer would be also to convince her she can do more. Yes, mm-hmm. you can do more. I promise you. I'm watching your form. I'm watching how you're moving this way. We can do so. That's also that part, and vice versa. The meathead guy who loves, you know, bench pressing two seventy five plus, and now all of a sudden he's going to put one thirty five on the bar. Yeah. It's a mental fuck on both sides, and so it's not just oh, let's switch your rest periods. Because what I would see when you would tell someone that is they do it and they never stick with it because no. it messes with their ego because they're so used to training also a weight a certain way that they would they would abandon the tip. So it, you have to you have to stick with it. It's phenomenal. Literally in a stop I bought one on Amazon for like less than 10 bucks. I mean they're cheap. And I got it in the mail yesterday and so I brought it to work and literally it's what you do. You say okay, uh today's workout, I'm going to go for uh 60 second rest in between sets. Which yeah. by the way, 30 to 60 seconds is faster than you think. Mm-hmm. So I go okay, I'm going to do for me it was 30 seconds. So I'm, I said okay, I'm going to do 30 second rest. And I literally Hit the stopwatch when it was time to rest. Hit it when it was thirty, and did my set. If I didn't do that, and I'm feeling how I'm feeling, like throughout the workout, if I didn't do that, it would have easily <laughs> stretched to sixty and ninety seconds without me realizing it. Because time, part of part of the thing with time and being accurate with time is we perceive it differently. The more tired you are, or I get distracted, time moves faster or slower. Look, uh, I think Einstein has a famous quote where he says, you know. Uh, about the theory of relativity, he made a joke and he said, yeah, you want to see how fast time goes, sit next to a beautiful woman and have a conversation with her Mm -hmm. and time flies by, right? Mm -hmm. Or do something that you hate and you can see how slow time. So our perception of time gets very easily distorted. So whatever time period of rest you want to set, bring it, stop, watch your workout, Mm. set it, do your thing, set it, do your thing, and stay consistent with the workout and tell me at the end of the workout that you don't feel a difference. Did Einstein really say that about a hot chick? He did. He didn't say hot chick, though. He said a beautiful woman or something like that. I didn't even yeah, know that. Maybe Doug ne- could find that. He was never, actually pretty funny. Like, he was I never heard that. Guy. I've never heard that before. Can't believe it. You uh, know, this is also... Sorry, Justin. Cut no, you yeah, off there. I I'll just let you guys talk. No, no. <laughs> it's fine. Keep going. <laughs> this is, yeah. Remember when we talked off air when we were going to do that one day? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Is this the day you guys are just going to try to single me out and be like, hey, see you later. <laughs> no, we got no, this again. An hour later, just as it got worded. No, I I just wanted to finish on the close the, the loop on what Sal is saying because you you've heard me on the podcast before talk well I've got a lot of flack for the 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 group the, the group X thing which should die the second thing I got a lot of flack for was uh, workout partners terrible to have a workout partner and a lot of people disagree with that for the motivation and, and the spot and all this bullshit mm-hmm. com- uh, consistency to get there but this is one of the reasons why I didn't like a workout partner and why I think they can be they can be detrimental to a lot of people is because. When you have somebody else, it's really difficult to do the time thing. Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried to do a time thing with them? You can't. The only way three, it works. You're going to do three minute rest. That's, that's right. And, and the only way it works is if you're both like on the in the same rest period in that t- that phase of your training during that month or yeah. whatever like that. And it and it, and you Maybe don't talk training, and you don't talk it. and you just yeah. take turns yeah. and then that matches the time. Yeah. It's like, but like, who does that? Anybody yeah. who works out with someone bullshits in between, gets distracted. And it's like you're not sticking to your programming that way. Which is an, this is a, another one of the main reasons why. I never liked to work out partners because I did manipulate this and I do know what a big difference it makes when you're consistent with it and you stick yeah. to it. Yeah, I haven't messed. So the stop clock, I mean, that makes perfect sense for rest periods. Uh, the cool part is now that they have those gym digital clocks that have the second hand. So oh. I, I tend to use that for rest periods, but also too, if you have one you know, available to, to look and refer to that when you're doing isometric holds, I'll oh, do yeah. 15 to 30 second holds and like just re- real dialed in on that instead of just trying to count it in my head, but totally changes the the entire feel of the workout. Yeah, and, and then the other part of it, which uh, this may sound weird to some people until you try it, and then you'll be like, oh, okay, I can see a difference, is it keeps you in the workout. Yeah, yeah. It keeps you present. Now, one of the things I love about strength training is it's the most present form of, one of the most present forms of exercise 
that you could possibly do when you're doing the exercise. So when you're doing a set with strength training, you got to be very, you got to be there, especially if you're going heavy. Unlike right. other forms of exercise where if you're just doing the same thing over and over, you're running on a treadmill or on elliptical and you can kind of get lost in your thoughts because it's repetitive. With strength training, it's harder to do, especially if you lift heavy. So I love that about it. But the, the part where it gets screwed up is in, the, in between the sets. Mm -hmm. This is where we start to go off and we're not present. And with the invent of, uh, of smartphones, that really messes the whole thing up. And I never really thought about it because uh, I, I have my smartphone. I'm on there. I'm, I'm working. I'm doing stuff in between. I'm reading. Never really thought about it until not that long ago. I thought, man, I remember, oh, you know what it was? I was watching old bodybuilding videos. And I, as I'm watching them, I realized something like there, there's no music in the gym when they're working out. Like back in the day when Arnold used to work out in the seventies, mm -hmm. they didn't play music. That yeah, wasn't until like yeah, a hear, little later. It's like the nineties. Yeah. You hear like they, the they, all you hear was, <clears throat> you, yeah. <sighs> yeah, they're just, people are just, they're I'm, just, I'm good with music. They're just, <laughs> they're just, I'm not saying I'm against music, Yeah, but they're just training. I remember thinking like, man, they had nothing but the workout like how present they must have had to be. And yeah, as I'm watching they're very the video, focused. And as yeah. I'm watching it, because I'm watching in the background, because I love old exercise equipment, so I pause the video and I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, look at all that old equipment. And I'm like, nobody's talking to each other. Yeah. They're all just trained. They're all super present. And I'm like, you know, I used to do that when I'd work out. It, there wasn't anything for me to focus on other than my workout. Um, so let me try that. So I did it with my phone where I, I put it in my pocket and I'm like, I'm not touching it. Made a huge difference. Stopwatch does it to another level because I'm literally there. Either I'm focused on the rest or I'm focused on yeah. the lift. And I mean, that 45 minute to hour workout is like so present. And you're and that's gonna reflect on your on the psychology around the workouts and how you feel.